y'all. Happy Monday. Good to see you guys. It is November. It is hard to believe that we made it through another month, but we did. It is November 2nd. It is a Monday and today's workout is full body. Grab some coffee. Grab your equipment. I've got my 10 pounders and my 12 pounders standing by. I also have a bunch of uh, kettlebells back here for my deadlifts. Good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Christina. Hey, ladies. Happy Monday. There's Lisa. Good morning, Jackie, Shanette. Hey, y'all. So for today's workout, we have basic supersets. We are gonna do two movements, two movements, two movements. We've got five rounds of that plus a finisher. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Len. Good morning, Christina. Stopping in. She's gonna replay in an hour. Okay, sounds good. Uh, we've got squats and presses, and we're gonna do three rounds of that. On the last round, we are gonna combine the two, okay? And then our cardio finisher, we're gonna see what we have time for at that point. We're gonna do some jumping jacks, some hops, some jumps, that kind of thing. Good morning, Kenya, Andrea, hey y'all. All right, I'm gonna part with my coffee. I'm gonna set it down. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that extra hour of sleep last night. There's Dee Dee, Tamara. All right, look at Tam. Good morning. I think if you were struggling with sleep, now is the time to get back on track. All right, since we had daylight savings time over the weekend and we did, we fell back as they call it. Hey, Kenya, Carol. All right, let's start our body weight squats. Get our bodies ready for exercise. Do a little check-in with our legs. See how everything's feeling. And today is also our first class together. Let's go into some lateral lunges. Our first class, since we kicked off our eight week challenge, now it's an eight week accountability, okay? You set your goals, you decide what you wanna do with the next eight weeks. There's Yolanda, Anya, Carol, good morning y'all. So really it's about making some goals, setting some intentions and sticking to them for the eight weeks, all right? Each week we're gonna have a different, good morning Melita, a different topic of discussion. That doesn't mean you have to do it. Tanya, this isn't gonna be an intermittent fasting challenge, but what it is gonna be is something that I'm thinking about doing. I'm putting it out there into the universe. Hey, Dina, Keisha, we're doing lateral lunges, y'all. We're warming up. We, I posted an article out there, and I hope everybody gets a chance to read it today. There's Valerie, Beverly, Good morning, ladies. Keisha, laterals. Good, all right, let's go to the back of your area. Let's do some zombie walking, okay? Arms out, walk and high kick. Good, activate those hamstrings. Give it a nice big stretch. So intermittent fasting and nutritional timing will be our topic of discussion this week. And we'll just sort of Touch on that a little bit each day. Talk about what does it mean? What are the basics? And see if you want to try it in your own life. There's Catherine. Hey, Catherine. Here we go, y'all. Last round of these. Hamstring stretch. Good. All right, let's do knee drivers. Good morning, Marilyn. Here we go. Knee up. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Switch to the other side. That's it, Jeanette. One, two, three, four, five, halfway. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. We'll do one cardiovascular. Let's do some jumping jacks, okay? I'm already realizing. These are the pants that slowly slide down, so it should be fun keeping them up. Here we go, jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. How are we feeling? Good, let's get our heart rates up a little bit. On that one, some arm circles while we talk. All right, we're gonna start out with a squat and a press. Super set for three rounds. We've got 20, reverse your circles. We've got 20 reps of each. Good morning, Faya. I wanna send a big shout out and thank you to Anya George and Nashville New Podcast for sponsoring our challenge this month. This month, next month, for the entire eight weeks. So thank you so much, Anya. All right, I'm gonna turn off the music real quick. Grab your weights, y'all. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start with something light. Put your weights up here for your squats. Let's start with 15 in our first round. Here we go, ready? Let's do it. Front squats. Actually, this is a rack squat position. Three, four, <laughs> five, six. Let's get those squats. Seven, that's it. Eight, go as heavy as you want to. Nine, I'm using my 10 pounders. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, one more and 15 good all right next up we've got the shoulder press here we go ready arms up split your stance one two now next round three we're gonna go a little heavier four five if you have heavier weight six that is seven eight nine ten five four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, let's go straight into our next set of squats. If you want to go a little bit heavier here, pick up your next heaviest set of hand weights, okay? Here we go. Squats for 20. Let's do it. Sit back in that chair. That's a good squat, Carol. Good. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, that's it. Eight, good job, Tamara. Nine, good morning, Bruce. 10, 11, 12, 13, it's not about speed. 14, time under tension. 15, good morning, Salome. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good, set your weights down just for a second. Shake out your arms. All right, coming up, shoulder press. Ready? Let's do it. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, get to 20. Five, I'm feeling these 12s. Six, seven, they definitely feel heavier. Eight, nine, come on shoulders. 10, halfway. 11, 12, 13, 14, six more, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Arr! bring it down. All right, on our last set, we're gonna combine the two, okay? So we're gonna take a squat, press, put them together for a squat press. <laughs> My heart rate's up. <laughs> I can tell I'm working out. Hopefully you can too. Ready? Here we go, Lita. Good morning. Squat press for 20. Weights up here. Last set. This one's a combo. One, press. Two, third set. Three, four, 
Squeeze to the top. Five. Six. Good morning, Anita. Seven. Good morning, Mona. Eight. That's it, y'all. Nine. Keep going. Ten. Halfway. Eleven. Good job, Beverly. Twelve. Press. Thirteen. Press. Fourteen. Fifteen. Five more. Sixteen. Seventeen. That's it. Eighteen. Last two. Nineteen. And 20. Yes. All right, set those weights down. Now, now that we've completed that superset, here is your water break. All right, a couple things. Your heart rate should be up from that. A couple of deep breaths. All right, our next superset, our next two movements, is a rear lunge and a bicep curl. On the third round, we're gonna combine the two, okay? We're gonna also talk a little bit about the intermittent fasting. That's right, Dina. Hopefully, it, hopefully we all felt that last round. I'm gonna go back to my 10 pounders when I start my lunges. So with the intermittent fasting, it basically means, let's go lunges. It basically means just picking a window that that's gonna be your feeding window. I know a lot of you already do this. Four, five, so it might just be six, 12, uh, a 12 hour window, seven, eight, you're still eating, nine, three meals a day, 10, so nobody's starving here, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, rear lunge, 17, good morning Becky, 18, good morning Juanita, 19, one more, 20. So let's say today you eat your breakfast at 7 a.m. Then you would become finished eating by 7 p.m., okay? So you pick a 12 hour window to kind of get started. Here we go, bicep curls. So I know a lot of people in the group, three, I know Carol's been doing it successfully, four, five, Shanette's been doing it, six, seven, so it's definitely working, eight for some folks, nine, 10, hey Angie, 11, get to 20, 12, 13, that's it, 14, 15, five more curls, five, four, three, two, and one, good. So as we have our discussion, if there's anything you've tried that's worked for you with intermittent fasting, type that in the comments, or it's working, or here's my feeding window. So every, every night when we go to sleep, let's go back to our lunges, 10 on the side. Every night when we sleep, two, we're automatically fasting, three, while we sleep, four, so it's just about Five, extending that window. Six, to take advantage. Seven, of the body's ability. Eight, to burn fat naturally. Nine, one more. 10, good, second leg. Here we go, second set, our second leg for 10. One, rear lunge. Two, three, four, good. Lita's doing it. Five, awesome. Six, seven. There's someone it's working for. Eight, nine, one more. And 10, good. I know for me, I'm probably more guilty of eating at night. So for me, this, this first couple of days, 
I'm gonna put a 12 hour window on it. Bicep curls, here we go. And just try not to eat at night. Two, three, four, five. And after you kind of set a baseline, six, seven, you can start shortening your window. Eight, nine, 10, 11 bicep curls, 12, 13, that's it Lita, 14, that's it Angie, 15, 16 curl, 17, 18, two more, 19, and 20, good. All right, we've got one more set, we're gonna combine the two. So let's say on day one you do a 12 hour window, like a seven to seven. Then the next day you might do an 11 hour window, eight to seven, and then a nine to seven. You could just keep squeezing it in each day and see how your body feels. Just a suggestion. Here we go, rear lunge into a front curl. Let's do it. One, curl, alternate. Two, curl, three, curl, that's it, four, five, today's workout, six, our supersets, seven, that's it, eight, nine, ten, halfway, eleven, twelve, Salome's been doing it, thirteen, 14, 15, I have to get a little closer, 16, 17, three more, 18, 19, one more, and 20, good, come up and curl. All right, so Salome was saying it's been working for her, here's your water break, she does a 16 hour fast at night and an eight hour feeding window. Let me see if I can see, read more. Tracking has helped me control my intake. I don't realize how much I'm having throughout the day. Okay, that's a great testimonial. I love it. So I'm curious to know Salome as a follow up, does your eight hour window change from day to day? Is it from like 11 to nine or what? what is it each day typically and do you give yourself some flexibility? Good morning, Jeannie. Welcome. Carol's is 12 to eight. Ooh, I like it, Carol. It still allows you a chance to, uh, here we go for a deadlift, you guys. Go ahead and grab your deadlifting weights for your next superset. Here we go. Oh, there's a kitty back there. Can you guys see Odie? Hey, Odie. Here we go. The next two are deadlift and a front raise, okay? Okay, ready? Here we go. We'll keep talking, Dina. Deadlift and squeeze. Two, that's it. Three, keep moving. Four, there's Norma. Five, six, good, squeeze. Seven, deadlift. Eight, nine, ten, halfway. Eleven, that's it. Twelve. Squeeze, 13, 14, 15, five more y'all, keep going, five, four, three, two, and one, good. All right, set your weights down just for a second. Next up, you've got front raise. I think for most of us, just to take that one little extra step and be mindful of when we're eating could really help things, okay? It just kind of gets us back on track. So that is my goal for today, at least, is to work on that 12-hour window 
And then I'm gonna work up to being like Carol and Salome, where I can do an eight hour window. Here we go, front raise. One, two, three. Good morning, Julie. Four, five, that's it. Six, front row. Seven, eight, you got it. Nine, go for 20. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, that's it, Jeanette. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, I'm gonna grab something a little bit heavier for my next set of deadlifts. If you have any heavier kettlebells, go ahead and grab it now. I'm gonna grab my 30 pounder. All right, here we go. Second set of deadlifts. If you want to go heavier, I'm gonna also add a double pulse, okay? Awesome, Emily. Emily had to be at work early, so she picked a replay from one of the previous workouts. One, two, three. Good job, Emily Harper. Four, we will see you tomorrow. Five, squeeze. Six, seven, eight. At 10, I'm gonna go double pulse. Nine, 10. Good, now switch to the two pulse. Here we go. 11, squeeze. 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15. Five more, y'all. 16, 17, 17. 18, 18, last two, 19, 19, and 20, 20, squeeze. Good, set that heavy weight down. All right, Salome says she breaks her fast like two o'clock. Okay, two to 10, that's what you youngsters do. <laughs> youngsters. <laughs> But that's awesome. She has to be done eating before 10 o'clock. Okay. Nice, I like that. Here we go, y'all, front raise. I think for me, I would be definitely asleep by then. <laughs> One, two, front raise. Three, four, I think that's the beauty of it, y'all. Five, six, seven, different, eight, nine different hours 10 work for everybody 11 12 front row 13 14 15 16 17 18 last two 19 and 20 good i think for me if i was to pick an eight hour window it would probably be like 10 to 6 for me or maybe I could do 11 to 7 but make my uh, my fasting break after my second class just a thought all right last set of these you guys we're gonna go deadlift into a front row okay last set let's go for 20 ready let's do it and then we're moving on moving on to our fourth circuit deadlift down straight up into a front row. Two, two, that's it, Mara. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, that's it, Tamara. Seven, seven, squeeze at the top. Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, 11, 11, 12, 12, keep going, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17, 
17, that's it, Anya, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, and 20. Good, set it to the side. Here is your coffee break, all right? We're gonna read a couple more comments. I think everyone consensus-wise who's tried it loves it. It gives you some control, some mindfulness, okay? I like that word better than control. More mindful eating. Grab some coffee. Hmm. But if you have something late, you can push your, your, your fasting break to later in the day and still hit your goals for the day. And you guys remember, the goal with this eight week challenge is just to do some things so that we have a little bit of wiggle room for the holidays. We know there's gonna be fudge and cookies and giant meals for Thanksgiving. So this is gonna give us a little bit of wiggle room leading into the holidays. It's not, everything is not about the scale, but legitimately, I know my pants have gotten a little bit tighter since I've been traveling and Okay, okay. Dina said there's an app called Zero. Very cool, okay. Um, send me that app and I'll share it with the group, okay? Next one, you guys, we've got is a lateral lunge up into a front raise, okay? Lateral front raise. So you're gonna wanna use your lightest weights you've got on this one. Here we go. If anybody else has a, a fasting app, an IF, Jeannie says she does eight to four. Okay, cool. Looks like a lot of you are already doing it. Here we go. Let's go to that side for um, for 10, just the lateral lunge. Here we go. One, push off. Two, if you have an app that you really like, three, y'all send it to me, okay? Four, five, push off. Six, lateral lunge. Seven, Good. Eight, two more on this side. Nine, push off, and 10. Good. All right, switch to the other side. Here we go, lateral lunge. One, two, three, four, five. I see you, Lisa. Six, push off. Seven, that's it. Eight, you got it. Nine, one more. And 10, good. Let's see, I wanted to grab Lisa's comment real quick before it goes away. She says, Lisa said she likes the challenge. When I do it, I eat from 11 to seven, but she goes to bed early. Good morning, Harriet. Okay, 11 to seven, I like that. But for those who are considering it, here we go, front raise. We're gonna do single alternating. One, for those who are considering it, you don't have to. Three, four, start out with a short window. Five, six, seven, it's just about tracking it. Eight, day one. Nine, then we'll ease you into it. 10, throughout the week. 11. 12, 13, good morning, 14, 15, 16, 17, three more, 18, front raise, 19, and 20, good. All right, side lateral lunge, here we go. Let's go 12 to that side, let's do it. One, two, you got it. Three, push off. Four, use that quad right here. Five, push off. Six, you got it. Seven, keep moving, Kenya. Eight, keep sweating. Nine, one more. And 10, good. Switch to the other side. Here we go. One, Two, so I will share with you three, any apps that you guys have, four, that's gonna help the rest of the group, five, please send those to me, 
six. I will post some more articles this week. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. Push off. We've got front raise coming up. Front raise, okay? Breathe. The other thing to consider this week, or today, or tomorrow, let's go for front raise alternating. Ready? Here we go. One. Two is how you're going to track your progress. Three. Four. Five. Six. Or have you hopped on the scale lately? Seven. Eight. And you know I don't think the scale nine is everything. Ten. But it's something. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Four more. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. One more. And twenty. So hop on the scale or come up with another non-scale victory, okay? It doesn't have to be that you track your progress um, with fat loss or, but maybe pick out an outfit. Let's go into our side lateral lunge into a front raise. Here we go, lunge at the bottom, then come straight up into a front raise. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, that's it, seven, seven, eight, eight, this is your combo round, nine, nine, ten, ten, all right, switch to the other side, let's see, Barbara's going to track using body scan at NutriShop, awesome, Lita got on the scale yesterday. Okay, Mona has an app. Aw, Angie joined Weight Watchers. Love it, Angie. She tries to do 12 hour fast, but she's gonna jump in and do a 16 hour fast. Here we go, lateral lunge to that side. One, one, I love it. Two, two, that everybody's stretching a little bit. Three, three. Four, four, and sharing. Five, front raise, what's working for them? Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, congratulations, Angie. Nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven. <laughs> it's not eleven, what was I thinking? Set those down. All right, here's your water break. Congratulations, Angie. I'm excited. It just goes to show, good old Weight Watchers works. It still works. All right, you guys, get a quick sip of water or coffee. We've got one more round. We're gonna do it from our mat, okay? We've got a hip raise and a chest press. And then we're gonna do our cardio finishers, okay? Go ahead and grab your mat, lay it all the way out. Got all my weights spread out everywhere. Here we go. See, she's already ahead of the curve. You're ahead of the curve, Angie. It's such a great feeling to get those, to get those first five pounds off. Um, so, Tanya, the thing about a body scan that they, that I've been told is just try to do it consistently at the same time each day. So if you do one at noon, then do one at noon the next time. If, if you can do it fasted, you'll probably get better, a better low point, but that doesn't mean you, you have to, okay? All right, you guys, go to your floor, grab a hand weight and put that on your hips right here, okay? We're gonna raise to the sky for 20. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, that's it. Eight, next up is your chest press, nine. 10, halfway, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, come down. All right. I'm going to catch up on all the awesome comments. Sometimes I'm too far away from the screen to read them. I do Weight Watchers with some gals from work. Okay, I got to read that. <laughs> yes, Angie. Here we go, you guys. Let's roll it back and do a chest press, okay? Your knees are bent. Here we go. One, two, go heavy if you can. Three, four, I've got my 12 pounders. Five, handy. Six, seven, good chest press. Eight, nine, ten, halfway. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Roll it up. All right. <clears throat> It's definitely given, I think, everyone some food for thought, as they say. I'm gonna grab my band sitting back here. If you have a resistance band, you can add that to your, to your glute raise, okay? I think for me, this is just my own personal, personal goals I've set. So I got on the scale yesterday and this morning. I'm officially five pounds up, officially. Five, it's not going away, it's not vacation weight. Five pounds up since COVID started. Okay, that's just keeping it real. So, I hung in there for so long, and I think I just let the, the sweets get to me. The sweets, that's my, that's my Achilles heel. Let's roll it back. So, that is my mission for the next eight weeks, is to get that five pounds off so I can get back to my pre-COVID weight. Here we go, y'all, squeeze, one, Two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm not saying it's a big deal. Seven, it is what it is. Eight, nine, but I just want to feel comfortable again. Ten, eleven, squeeze. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, roll it up. Now, I can hear myself telling you guys, now, hold up, some of that might be muscle. <laughs> I can hear it. I can hear me telling you that, okay? It might be muscle. <laughs> but I do know I've been eating brownies every day. <laughs> Okay, maybe not every day. Some days it's cookies. So, I'm going to reel that in. <laughs> so, if you're on the cookie train, like I am, it stopped last night. I was like, this is my last brownie for eight weeks. So I had the whole talk with Michael that I'm, we're not gonna do sweets for a while, okay? Let's see. I'll read that in a second. Here we go, chest press, you guys. Ready? Let's do it. One. Two, three, so think about your goals. Four, five, jot them down. Six, seven, message me. Eight, if you want some extra accountability. Nine, 10, I'm here for you. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. All right, we've got one more set coming up, you guys. I'm too far from the screen. Cookie, candy, jug. Okay, that's... 
Okay. I think Kenya's saying she's detoxing. Okay. It's like crack. <laughs> I can relate to that, Kenya. All right, you guys, we're gonna do a chest press with a glute raise, ready? Here we go, last set, you're gonna squeeze your glutes to the sky while you chest press. Ready? Here we go, lay it back, and one. Use that resistance band. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's it, eight, Nine, 10, halfway, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, and 20. Good, roll it up. All right, next up. We have our cardio finisher, okay? That should take less than 10 minutes, you guys. We're gonna get you out of here a little bit early on Monday. We've had a great discussion, a great kickoff to our eight week challenge. We're definitely gonna make something happen. I can tell, I can just feel it. I'm gonna catch up on comments. No sugar November, ooh, I like that. You guys consider joining Lita and Kenya. Okay, and Barbara. I think for me, that's key. So in addition to the intermittent fasting, for me, I just can't do the sugar. I can't and stick to my goals. All right, y'all, here's our cardio finisher. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Five things we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to back to back. Each one, we're gonna get through, take a little break, Get into the next one, okay? So let's start out with our jacks. Let's start out with our jumping jacks. Let's go for 30 on jacks, okay? Ready? I'm gonna get my headband right. Okay, now we can begin. 30 jumping jacks, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Nice, Becky. She's been off the sugar and bread since September. Okay, I'm seeing a consistent theme here, you guys. We'll talk more about sugar tomorrow. Side to side hops. Here we go. One. Two, go for 30. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's it. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one, good. All right, let's go into a air jump. What I wanna know is how does that make you feel? Do you have anything that slips you up? <laughs> slips you up with the no bread, no sugar? Here we go, let's do an air jump rope for 50. Ready, pretend like you have a jump rope. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, mountain climbers we're gonna go for 30 on the mountain climbers y'all and then we've got one more left okay ready go down into a plank mountain climbers 30 each leg ready one two three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come down and breathe. All right, for your last one, it's sort of a wild card. I'm gonna run the stairs in my house. If you have stairs, I'd like for you to join with me. If you don't have a set of stairs, or they're just not easily accessible, I want you to pick one of the cardios we did, one of the uh, burgers are tough. <laughs> Proud of you, Becky. Um, pick the stairs or one of the other cardios that we just did, okay? We're gonna do the stairs four laps and then we're done and we're gonna stretch, okay? So I'm gonna head out, ready, set, round one. Let's go. Round one up. Good, come on down. Here's round two. and forth. Good job, y'all. Roll your shoulders back. Good job. Wow. Salome said when she stopped, let's cross one leg over the top. When she stopped eating sugar, she was still having cravings a week later. I believe it. I believe it. Deep breath. All right, you guys, homework for today. Consider intermittent fasting. Just consider paying attention to your window and picking a window that's gonna work for you, okay? We're just trying to encourage you to get out of your comfort zone and make something happen these eight weeks. I'm gonna personally commit to, to y'all, like a, a 12 hour window today. So I might just do like eight to eight today. Then tomorrow I'm gonna shorten it up a little bit. All right, stand tall, stretch your quad. I did post an article about it if you wanna get more information before committing. What else? I think the testimonials from these ladies in class, our peers and our fitness community, that's enough for me. I'm going for it. Consider hopping on the scale, all right? And if you don't wanna do the scale, I get it. I'm not a firm believer in the scale. Deep breath up. But if you want to, that can help you track or pick out a pair of jeans or something that you can't get into right now. And that can become your goal. I've got about 10 pairs of jeans I can't get into right now. <laughs> so that can be my non-scale victory, okay? It's important to have one of each, you guys. All right, you guys, great job today. Great discussion. Thank you all for your participation today. I really appreciate you. Anya, I appreciate you and Nashville New Podcast for sponsoring it. We are working on a fantastic reward for our challenge participants. Everybody who participates, which is basically all of you guys, we're gonna do a virtual holiday party where we're gonna get dressed up. We're gonna have some faux cocktails and some cocktails. We're gonna get dressed up and have a dance party online. And Anya and I are planning it for us, okay? So have a wonderful Monday, you guys. This will give you about 10 extra minutes to get on the road today. Love you guys. Great job, Lita, Juanita, Kenya, Yolanda, Jackie. Have a great Monday, Jeannie, Becky. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's Upper Body Monday, okay? Upper Body, yes. Upper Body Monday. Okay, water and black coffee don't count. I love it. I can do that. So we'll do a, a reward for everybody and celebrate with a, a fancy schmancy Zoom party. Bye, you guys. See you, Anita. Mm, see you guys. Bye.